Welcome back. So, um, I have my whole bag bin thing of, um, cloth diapering. Um, I really wanted to do this video because when I was doing cloth diapering, I was like really at a loss about where to start. I wanted to get like the absolute best cloth diaper that I could find. I wanted to get something that could kind of grow with my baby and I also wanted to get um, something that was easy to clean. Now I do kind of think that this diaper like isn't the easiest to clean but I didn't want something that like I threw in the trash because I'd rather wash it because I felt like the trash I would just have to like constantly be changing and it would stink and as much as like cloth diapering does sort of have like a stinky scent um I can like I also used a wet bag which I could go into um a little bit more if you guys want but um I'm today I'm just gonna specifically review um the bum genius cloth diapers that um I used for both my sons my second one not so much but my first one we used these like religiously and then used disposable at night because I really wanted him to be like dry throughout the night and I definitely feel like they are dry with these but not like disposable diapers so let's just get into it okay so the one that I picked was let's see if this will focus low. and I actually bought most of these at babies R us which I know is I know which I know is no longer uh, open but you can also get them on the bum genius website I think I may have gotten some on Amazon maybe Target and I think the rest I got at a bye bye baby and I'll link everything below so that you guys can take a look at it but I mainly got like blues and greens and kind of like turquoise because um, I knew I was having a boy and um, I wanted excuse me and I wanted um, kind of like gender neutral sort of colors. So the ones that I picked have snaps. Um, they do, Bum Genius does sell ones that have um, Velcro, but I read that the Velcro over time can actually like just not be sticky. And so I really didn't want that. I think these are around $17 each. Obviously, like I said, I had everything linked down below, but I really liked was that these could get huge. Like they go from like newborn to essentially like potty training almost. Obviously my son was really tall so these didn't quite um, fit him. Like I feel like he wore these until he was probably like 24, 36 months, maybe 36 months, but definitely till 24 months um, he was able to wear them. So the inside is like this really soft, you can see like I, I washed them pretty well and they don't smell. Um, the inside, so this is like, I'll take this out. So the, this is kind of like a microfiber -y, like soft part that touches baby and then inside is just like this really rubbery, like catches all the mess. So um, all you'd have to do is put your padding or your you know absorbency in this one pocket here which I also thought was like pretty easy so when I like did laundry and I was and everything was dried I would just remake them all and like put them in the little basket that I showed you so they come with two um, inserts this one is like the toddler one the bigger one and this one like you would use for a newborn um, I like doubled them up once my son got to be like a certain um, size and I started noticing it would leak a little bit more. I doubled them up. Um, this one can, this one does have snaps. Um, so the smallest it would go is the newborn size. I don't know if you can sort of tell there. Um, but this one has, the bigger one has more absorbency. And these, they both both the diaper like when you buy the diaper I can't talk today when you buy the diaper um they both come with it um so I guess like I'm trying to like see like how else I want to sort of describe this I this was again like that microfiber like cotton thing these like 
they don't smell but I do feel like it's it never said to use bleach but I did so but not on every wash and I also would use just like I don't think no I didn't use bleach with these but I did spray them with shout which I know that you're not supposed to do everybody says Meh. but do you really want to have like poop stains I don't think I don't think you do but I never did any of this like more in like more than one wash so like after once these started smelling kind of like you know ooh, then I just put like at the teeniest tiniest thing of bleach and I would also put them out in the sun which would like bake the heck out of them um, these you couldn't put in the dryer so these have to be hung but I would also put these out into the sun and it would like kind of bleach and like make this liner smell better this like rarely got stinky it was more like this got stained these were the ones that like got really stinky so pretty much what would happen let me get one of these was that you'd have like so either it would be pee or poop. If it was poop, you'd take like the chunks and you'd put them in the toilet. We even had a little sprayer, you know, so you could spray it. And then I had a wet bag, which didn't actually have water in it. I would just put the um, poopy diaper in there. And then when it was time for washing, I would have gloves on and I would take all these out like this and wash them. And it, like it says too on the tag how to wash yeah, it was like, um, let's see, uh, wash cold, wash hot, double rinse, and then line dry. Um, it also said not to use rash creams with these, which I'm trying to see if there was one that I feel like I had where it did kind of stain, but I never noticed it. I also, maybe, you can, I don't know if you can see, but it's like, there's like tiny stains, but... Um, I didn't really notice them staining unless like I didn't unless I like didn't change them often enough or if I let them sit in the wet bag for too long. I probably did laundry like every other day for these um, and I think I bought about 20 diapers and those would sort of last me like two or three days depending on how much the boys went um, and the thing that I loved about Bum Genius was um, just that they got so big. Like, look at how big, like, this is, like, the size of my head, like, and that they also had, like, a really good, excuse me, they also had, like, a really good elastic here, which um, I thought, you know, was nice and comfortable, like, it wasn't too tight, and I don't, like, they rarely, rarely leaked, unless, like, he peed, like multiple times they would leak but I feel like they rarely leaked and I also used them as swim diapers which were like super super helpful because um you know like those other diapers would just soak up the whole lake but these ones wouldn't as much and um they were like nice and durable and they just they looked a lot nicer too so I would use those um, and I really liked that they had the snaps instead of um, the Velcro. And I know a lot, like a lot of places have the, or a lot of places, a lot of diapers had the Velcro and I felt like that was just going to wear over time. I also really liked them. Um, I think that they had a really good warranty program. I can't remember what it was, but I'll also link their website down below so you can like read it. But they had a really good warranty as far as I can remember. And um, they also went really high in the back. So when they had blowouts, um, you know, it would reach the top, but it wouldn't necessarily go, um, you know, out the back of the diaper, which was helpful. And um, they also kind of had, they had like fun colors. I mean, I wasn't really into like the colors, but some people are. Um, I do feel like this was a, a little bit more of an expensive diaper, but definitely more worth it. And um, it wasn't as many steps. Like, I feel like those G diapers, there was like, I don't know, I almost, I was, it was kind of between this and a G diaper, and there was like the blueberry diaper and a couple of other ones, but like this one just really stood out to me because of the simplicity, and um, there wasn't really anything here that you had to like rip out, like right away, it was like kind of in this pocket, which I liked. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's 
kind of like my review. Um, we still have them. I probably spent like a lot of money, like over $200 on them. And um, with my second son, we didn't use them as much, but that was only, that's literally only because I, um, where my laundry is, I actually don't have enough room to wash them all. So with our family getting bigger, we didn't have enough room. Um, so it actually would have been like more of a deterrent, but we did use them as swim diapers and um, I used them a little bit with him as a newborn, but um, n not as much as my first was. My first we used um, these diapers for a while um, and it was really nice. Like it definitely uh, saved us with how much washing we did with the Bum Genius. Um, we did have to replace our washing machine because we washed them so much. So that is something to kind of like consider. Obviously, like our washing machine was very old when we first got these. Um, we did have to also turn up our water so that it was hotter so that it would, you know, disinfect them. Um, so th those are all things that you like really want to consider if you're considering cloth diapers. Also, like we did have a not like a lot, but like some family members were a little bit hesitant to use them. So we just did disposable for when he was away from us and then use these at home. And I felt like that was just a lot easier because then they didn't have to worry about a poopy diaper and putting it anywhere. Uh, so yeah. Um, we didn't use these at night just because I wanted him to be extra dry and like I thought sleep was better than, I don't know, trying to save the environment, I guess. Uh, I mean, that's really kind of how I saw it. But um, I'm not sure if these saved the environment. I really couldn't tell you because we also use detergent, but it probably does save it somewhat. Not sure how much, but definitely tried to like do our part. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if there's anything else that you wanna see or if you have any questions, uh, please like leave your comment down below and I will definitely um, get back to you or try to, uh, I've been trying to make these videos like a once a week. Um, and yeah, and thank you so much. Um, if you've sub subscribed, if you haven't already, just go click that subscribe button and become part of the family.